Hey again, everybody. Welcome back to another gameplay video. Um, hope you had a great holiday week, Thanksgiving. I, I kind of overstuffed myself. I uh, had a good Thanksgiving dinner, so not too bad. Did a little bit of shopping, Black Friday shopping. Got a few Blu-rays. Uh, trying to focus on superhero movies. So, And uh, saw Justice League, Thor. Good movies. I liked them both. Not too shabby. Um, of course, I am back, and hopefully you had a great week, and you're ready for some more gameplay. Um, this time, this is the Dream Gear 301 game system, uh, as you can see right below me right there. Um, interesting little system. It's a plug-and-play. Um, as you can see, it's kind of like a, a weird... Uh, I don't know, PlayStation-like controller. Um, you got your colored buttons right there. You see you got a start and select button right in the middle. Um, right here on the left, that little blue thing is like a little nub. <laughs> I guess you select games with that. The D-pad does not look too intuitive. Uh, I'm not too crazy about that look. It takes three AA batteries. Uh, interesting, it's a little different. Also, at the end... Of the audio video cable there's a USB cable and you can actually plug it into the wall and able to play play some of these games without batteries so it's got a USB end that you, you right now I've got my um, my galaxy plug where you can detach the USB I've got it plugged into that so that's how I've got this powered no batteries um, it's got a USB port on the back for a second player joystick um, interesting right there, which is right here. That's the second player for two-player action. Uh, if you want to have fun there, this is more of a looking PlayStation-looking controller. Um, of course, there's no no uh, numbered or lettered buttons. It's just by color. Um, no top buttons on the top there. It's just basically your face buttons. So that plus that D-pad looks actually better on the second player than the first. So. But anyhow, also, uh, if I'm correct, that little green button in the middle, that is for a, uh, a sensor for this little paddle. Comes also with a little paddle controller. Well, I just kind of triggered the, uh, the game with that. But basically, you see that little light there on that paddle? Um, you can actually play games with that. And what happens is you take the joystick, you kind of set it in front of you uh, at level, level like that. And then there's certain games like table tennis you see right there. Um, you use the paddle and it senses it senses the, uh, the movement. See, like it, it's sensing it right now. So that's kind of a unique, uh, innovative way, actually. I kind of think it's neat. So you just uh, the way I've got it, I've got the pad, the controller right here, setting on my leg so if I want to play table tennis or other games using this paddle I can do that so that's pretty interesting the paddle itself which let me set it down here I'm making it I'm making it go crazy here the paddle here actually takes two AAA batteries so that's how that's going to work um, but for the most part yeah that's the interesting thing about this little system which is pretty cool I mean so far um, I like it uh, interesting to take a look at for sure. We're going to play some games. I'm going to try to knock out, uh, we'll see if we can knock out 50. Um, rapid fire. I'm going to try to keep this as small, small parts as possible. Um, but anyway, 300 mighty games in this plug and play. Um, again, that little nub right there, I think it's your menu, it goes back to the menu. It says select, so I guess. I don't know. It's 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 a nub. It's a, it's a blue nub, <laughs> but the green that's lit lit up right there. That's your sensor for the paddle. Uh, enough talk. Let me get into the games. Let's start with table tennis, which I will set the controller down on my leg here. I'll start this game up. All right. I'm going to go to practice. Uh, make sure it's practice. So it's ping pong. All right, hit the start button on the controller. I'm going to select my emulant. Um, let's see who we got here. This guy, this guy, 
that guy, that guy. Uh, there's a Mr. Mustache guy. I think I'll take him. Anyway, let's hit start, and I'm going to pick up my paddle with the, um, oh, we'll let, get it a little bit lower towards the, there we go. Basically, it's just sensing the paddle, the, the light is getting close to the controller, so the light on the paddle. Basically, you just, it probably just senses movement. <laughs> I don't really, oh, wow, that's, that's messed up. All right. I'll get this, oh. Of course, you hear the Mortal Kombat clapping sound effect there. Sounds just like it. Expect to see a bunch of Shaolin monks in the, uh, in the background there. Uh, should be. Oh yeah, Sub Zero wins. Ah. Oh well. All right. Yeah. There we go. Ah. Oh. that of course you can from what I've briefly played of it you can play it with the d-pad too you just press up on the button on the controller and you kind of you'll lob it back to them all right Competitive ping pong here, folks. <laughs> All right. Ah. All right, we got to 10. That's going to be good. I'm going to go ahead and head back up out of this. So that can give you an idea of the, um, uh, the, the way the paddle works. Let's see here. There we go. All right, hit the select button to go back to the menu. Let's go to Tanka 1990. All right, of course, nothing like a good old Tanka 1990 game. Let's hit start and let's see what this game's all about. Okay, oh yeah, Tank A 1990. Let's let's go here, stage one. Uh, let's go. No, let's go back to stage one. Yeah, let's go for that. Oh yeah. Ah, oh, interesting. Interesting little game here. Alright, I am the yellow tank at the bottom. Interesting. This looks looks pretty good for a uh, plug-and-play. I'm kind of curious if it is a hack of a NES game or something. But, oh, well. Let me get that. Oh, Alright. Oh, game over. Oh, darn. Well... That's interesting. Um, I played something similar to that on the Lexi book, so that's uh, it's not too bad. Sorry for the dark darkness here. I've got my little uh, Christmas lights on back there. So uh, happy holidays, everybody. Just wanted to say that real quick. All right, we've got Tank A. We, let's try Curly Monkeys um, with a Z. All right, whoa, man, that is uh, wild right there. Let's. Let's see how that goes right there. All right, let me minimize this. All right. Ooh, wow. Yep. Interesting. All right, there. We go. I got it. Huh. All right, let's see. Oh, this is not a bad game. I like this. don't like the buttons are inverted so the jump button is opposite of the uh, sh attack button right there uh, which 
I'm used to it different on NES, so. But this is not bad. This is a pretty cool game, actually. Like, again, again, I don't know if this is a hack of something, an existing game, or if it's just one that's made up, but that, it looks interesting. The, um, I, I will say this, the D-pad leaves a little to be desired. Kind of reminds you of the Sidewinder pad from Microsoft way back years ago, and I was not a fan of that. Yeah, it just feels like a Sidewinder pad. But, uh, interesting little game. I cannot complain about it. Oh. I can see where I can get the jump and the, uh, um, attack buttons confused, so. Very neat. Ah! Nice! Yeah, if anybody out there knows if this is a hack of a game, let me know in the comments. Because, uh... I'll just say the, uh, these, uh, these type of plug-and-plays aren't known for their... <laughs> uh, stellar games. <laughs> a, a titles, but, uh... So far, this is pretty neat. Alright, very cool. Get on that flower. Nope. Well, let me. Uh, can I run? Nope. All right, that works. Again, the D-pad leaves a lot to be desired. <laughs> I'd be better off playing with the uh, Player Two D-pad, to be honest with you. All right. Go down to the bottom. What's it say? Finish this up. Don't want to get too far. Got got 298 more games to go through. So I mean, as always, I can do a separate playthrough of, of this game if need be. So very cool. there's an ending to this. There, there, there probably is. This kind of reminds me of uh, a little bit about of Wonder Boy. I don't know. Just something about it. Which uh, I like that game as well. I've been playing Wonder Boy and Monster World for the Genesis. So I need to pick that back up. <laughs> Alright. Let's go back to the menu. Um, fun little game. Fun little platformer. That was Curly Monkeys. Or Curly Monkey 2. I think that's a 2. <laughs> it kind of looks like a Z, but uh, either either or. All right, let's try Cut Fruit. Let's see how that game goes. All right, Cut Fruit. A huge sword holding up the letters. Oh, yeah, here we go. He's just kind of... Ah. All right. I think just one button, uh, only one button slashes. Yeah, can't even you can't run fast, so you just kind of have to go through and slash this fruit. Interesting. Uh, all right. Yeah, there's no doesn't seem to be a dash button, so. All right, just different different levels, different uh, backgrounds. Okay, that was cut fruit. All right, let's try Jan Ken Punch. All right, let's try that game. All right, we're gonna fight. Looks like a rock paper scissors. Ah, uh, okay. All right. 
I guess this might be it. Oh, no. All right, uh, let's see. Oh, you kind of... Oh, okay, you got to guess whether it wins or not. So that... Oh, yeah, I, I get it. All right, yeah. You got to guess which one wins. You got to be familiar with rock, paper, scissors. All right. Interesting. Nah. Okay. That was Jan Ken Punch. Okay. All right. Let's see. Let's try. I'm going to try Shark real quick. Oops. All right. Shark. Let's see if we can get that going. Right, shark. Interesting. Uh, okay, basically you are a little fish eating littler fish. All right, until you grow bigger. So I'm gonna go over here, eat some fish. Just kind of chill out, relax. Yeah, again, the D-pad is not the greatest. Um, eh. I, I, I played better. Uh, actually, the second player would be a lot better if I could use that that one. But uh, all right, this is like go fish or, or kind of the uh, similar games of that nature. Uh, the button you you accelerate faster. So okay, we get that one. Um, let's try. Thunder Man. Okay, let's see what this game is. Oh, Thunder Man hitting start there. All right. All right, Thunder Man. Ah, now the buttons are right on this. I like that. I like that. Okay. Looks like uh, the yellow button's your turbo. Also, the uh, blue button's turbo. Okay, so the A and B. Red's A. The uh, green is B, and the buttons above it are turbo that correspond to those uh, two buttons. So, very cool. All right. Neat game. Kind of reminds me of uh, Shatterhand for the NES. Again, the D-pad. I wish it was just a little bit better. But control's good. I mean... It feels like it would control good. Not bad. All right, we get this guy here. All right, little NES. Actually, it looks kind of a little bit above NES graphics. Kind of somewhere in between NES and Sega Genesis. Because it looks like it can display a little bit more colors than a, a Nintendo. Again, I wish that D-pad was just a little bit better. It would greatly enhance these games right here. But, uh, you know... Right. We'll go ahead and wrap this little level up. If it's got—I don't even know if it's got anything to it, but uh, a little boat there. All right, we'll go ahead and uh, let me see if I can get this guy real quick. All right. Oh, oh well. 
All right, that was Thunder Man. Okay, let's try Vanguard. Ooh, I think I might have played this game. Oh, nice graphics. All right, yeah, I think I played something similar to this on the Lexi book. Yeah, you're just kind of a tank. I'll be honest with you, the games I've played so far, it feels like this this little system's kind of uh, um, polished. Some of these games, they I, I feel like here's what I feel like. I feel like they really put the effort into trying to make these uh, decent games, and uh, you know I commend them for that. So far, I mean these actually feel pretty good. But the, like I said, the D-pad, right now I can even feel it kind of snapping a little bit. So when I turned left there, it kind of... Yeah, I just wish there was an alternative to this D-pad, honestly. Because that... But, uh... Wow. Of course, your buttons, both of them fire, so. Alright, cool. Your um, A button shoots slower than your B button, so. Might be one of them is a bomb or the, a grenade or something. So. Wow, this is going to be a pretty long video if I keep playing these. I mean, I, I'm, I'm really getting involved in these games. Not too bad. All right. Here we go. Let's go in here and see what happens. I guess I have to shoot this dude right here. All right. This is pretty cool. This really is. I like it. Okay. All right, let me, that was Vanguard. So, now let's try Battle Plan. Whoa. All right, it's a shooter game, a vertical shooter. I've played many of these on these plug and plays, these offshoot plug and plays. Let's just see kind of how this goes. If there's actually an end boss or if it just repeats. Alright. A button is your turbo fire. B button is your single fire. Actually, I take that back. I think the B button destroys everything on screen. Yep. So no need for the turbo buttons. Alright. I can't go diagonally too well on this control pad. The end. Wow. Oh. That was Battle Plan. Uh huh. Champion Boat. Let's try that one. Oh, yeah. All right. Champion of that boat. All right. Let's see what we got going on here. Oh, let's see. It kind of controls like um, like the Super Off-Road games or RC Pro-Am where you left and you make a, a, a turn or right. Yeah, it, it controls like RC Pro-Am. Uh, yeah. Only it's not isometric. It's... <laughs> Kind of have to get used to controls. All right. I get it. Okay, I get this game. Yeah, all right. I didn't win that. <laughs> Champion boat. All right. Curly. Monkey. Okay, now let's try that. That might be the first one because I think I played part two earlier. That's weird. 
having part two first and then part one. Hmm. All right, let's try this again. Oh, okay. Definitely the first one. Again, the buttons are reversed in terms of the uh, attack and the jump. So. Awesome rock and music, too. Alright, yeah, okay, cool. You can, you can crawl. Alright, little, little, uh, ah, oh, little porcupine looking thing there. All right. Oh, okay. All right. That was cool. I definitely have to go. I have to do a playthrough of these games. All right. Sketchpad. Let's see what Sketchpad's about. Oh, yeah. Small Sketchpad for your uh, sketching needs. All right. Let's get this uh, bird. Not not Tweety Bird. So I'm going to uh, uh, let's see here. All right. Making blue. Well, I guess you can see it is a uh, painting program. Kind of simple. That is uh, not not Tweety Bird. All right. Let's see. Oh yeah. Okay. You change them different colors. All right. All right. Cool. That was Sketchpad. Let's try Enchanter. Oh, whoa, watch it out. All right, let's try this. Enchanter. All right, okay. I just destroyed. Oh. All right, just hitting the button, you kind of. That little uh, star thing. Oh, no. Go down. All right. You climb these ladders. Oh, I didn't make it there. All right, gotcha. Get that guy, whatever that is. I guess I have to get all of them. A little tough to go down the ladder. Okay, uh, that was interesting. Enchanter. Um... Okay. All right. Let's go with Sunken Ship. Let's see what that's about. All right, let's hit the start button. Oh, well. Um, hmm. That's not based off of uh, uh, a famous ship that fell down or that uh, sank because of an iceberg. All right, let's try Rose. All right. Let's change the outcome of that, huh? There we go. Alright, we're getting the hearts here. Alright. Let's go this way. I guess my I guess my object maybe is to get the hearts or no? Oh, well, let's, uh, ooh. Don't get hurt there. Well. Okay. Well. Oh, well, okay, Rose. I guess I go up here. Let's go up here. Right. We can jump on this rat. Maybe not. Got a lifeboat there. Let's see, can I go over here? No. Alright, Rose. Alright. Alright, we got you. That was Sunken Ship.
Let's try superhero. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Superhero. All right. Again, the buttons are reversed. Throwing my sonic wave there with the B button. A button jumps. Oh, okay. I'm out of my car now. Interesting. I need that car. Oh, no. Okay. I'm back here. All right. Throwing my fireball like in Street Fighter like none ever, none other before. All right. Oh, well. Alright, hold the button, you throw the fireball. Tap it to punch. Or actually, press a direction in the button and you throw a fireball. Don't press a direction and he punches. Okay, gotcha. Alright. Ah, oh, oh well. Let's see if I can make that jump. Rock and music. There we go. Oh well. All right, that was interesting. That was superhero. All right. Let's go to see if I can get my video up and running. Well, maybe I don't. All right, we got to number 15, which is Superhero. Oh, okay, here we go. We're back. Let's go with the hacker now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm, I'm assuming this is glitched. <laughs> So let me reset that and try that again. The hacker. Well, maybe not. It looks glitched. So we're going to just kind of... Alright, so... Kind of glitched out. It's kind of similar to the last game I just played as well, so... We're good there. I'm going to play. We're going to skip that one. The hacker. We're going to go to Amusement Park 2. Alright. Let's see here what we got going on at the Amusement Park. Oh, I see. Kind of... Kind of similar to that Konami game. Like Circus, I think is the name of it. Yeah, one button. Oh, the B button jumps shorter than the A button, so. Okay, we get it. All right, that's kind of similar to the uh, a Konami game. All right, back. Gammon. Let's try that. Alright. I'm not familiar with backgammon. I apologize. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. Well, that's, that's backgammon. I think I used to know how to play this, but...
All right, uh, we're good. <laughs> that was backgammon. I'm not that familiar like I used to be. Let's try it. backstroke. All right. Well, let's see what we got here with backstroke. All right. Apologies there. I'm trying to get this up and running again. Backstroke. Seems like when this, when it changes, uh, I want to say it changes resolutions or something, and it's causing my capture card to, to drop signal. Uh, that's kind of... Uh, <laughs> well known whenever you use an upscaler and that's what my frame meister does it just kind of loses signal on certain things and then my elgato h h hd60 kind of wigs out with that too so we are playing backstroke let's see here actually you just kind of hit the buttons and you're kind of kind of like track and field i think which I've got turbo buttons, so I can do that. Yeah, that, yeah, that other panda out, outdid me there. <laughs> All right, that was backstroke. Uh, let's see. Balloon Labyrinth. Let's see what that's about, okay. All right, this is similar, yeah. Similar to what I've, I've played this type of game before on the Lexi book. Oh. Alright, start over. Kind of like a little puzzle. You just gotta avoid the uh, traps or the ob objects. Alright, here we go. Alright. Here we go. I'm going through. Perfect. And then there's the exit. There we go. Hey, no problem. All right. Cool. That was Balloon Labyrinth. Let's try Breaststroke. Same thing as what I just played. Except the pandas are a little bit, uh, well, actually they're swimming. They're not uh, above ground. There we go. Yeah, okay. I got you. I'm just holding the turbo button, so. Oh, I guess I'd. Didn't quite make it. Or wait. Okay. Maybe I will. Didn't realize pandas could swim that good. That's, that's really good. Alright. I think. Did I win that? Yes. No? Why is the computer celebrate? Who am I? I guess I'm on the top. Oh well. All right, that was breaststroke. Let's try butterfly stroke, which is probably going to be similar, but oh, I think I just got disqualified. Oh no! I have to press the. I must press a direction before I can jump in the water. I got gotcha. you. All right. Uh, hmm. didn't quite win that. All right. Fourteen seconds to qualify. Yeah, I don't see how you could do that. 
course you probably could. All right. Okay. Good for you, Mr. Panda. Or Miss Panda. All right. That was Butterfly Stroke. Let's try some good old-fashioned checkers. All right. We'll put you there. Let's put you there. Let's put you there. We'll put you there. There. Hmm. All right. There we go. All right. Hmm. What to do? Oh no. No, no. Don't want to do that. Move you there. Over there. Move you there. And there. Go you over here. Clever. Right. Uh huh. Totally left me open there. Mm -hmm. Oh, what did I do that for? Missed some opportunities there. Oh, why did I do that? Hmm. 
Hmm. Wait, no. you very much all right that was fun that was checkers all right Chinese checkers uh, six players ooh maybe now oh goodness it's been forever since I played this so I don't honestly remember a whole lot about this Okay. Yeah, I'll be honest with you, I don't remember much about Chinese checkers. But be that as it may, you, you can see, yeah. All right, you can see kind of how that rough works. So that was Chinese checkers. Um, let's try craps. Uh, well, let's try that. figure this out here. <laughs> Alright. Um, I have to get the manual out on this. But that is craps. Oh, craps. Let's try crazy eights. Alright. Of course, this is self-explanatory. It's Crazy eight. Okay. 
Okay. Take another card. Uh. Oh yeah. Okay, I remember how to play this now. Crazy eights. It's crazy. Let's try the fire. Um, the fire. Don't put your hand in the fire. You'll get burned. All right. Let's try this. Uh, okay. I'm jumping. A button's jumping. Let's see here. Oh, okay, you jump and you press up to kind of latch on to hold on to the um, the next level, and you just kind of have to go through. It's kind of like a frogger, but like a side scroller. All right, here we go. If I can make it up here, where is the ending at? Huh. Kind of curious where you're supposed to go once you're up there. We have to hit these switches. Press down to go down a level, so. There, you got that right there. Yeah, I'm kind of curious where else you go. Uh, huh. Okay, that was the fire. Interesting. Let's try deforma. Deformable. Okay, let's try that. Oh, okay. Interesting. Ah. Uh, Hold down the A button and you will accelerate. You gotta avoid these obstacles. It's kind of like a triple action for Intellivision. Nah. Not sure what I can run over and what I can't, so. Oh. Oh, okay. All right, here. All right, just turn into a big supercar. All right. All right. Fell in the manhole. All right. Oh, I'm a jet now. Cool. Very cool. Oh, I'm actually flying over things. That was neat. Alright, that's pretty cool. 
just, just yeah okay cool all right buddy I just I just um, left you in the dust buddy all right that was deformable all right distinction let's try distinction all right Spot five. Oh, okay. Is this like a difference thing? All right. Let's see. Um, all right. This. Gotta fix that. Uh, right here. Good. Yeah. Basically, you just gotta find the, the different things. This here. This here. Wow, what else? Oh, okay, I see. The house. There we go. That part and that part. Oh, oh I missed it. Hmm. Well, that looks about... Ah, man. Okay, gotcha. All right, that was interesting. That was distinction. Let's try Domino's. No, I'm not talking about the pizza. All right. All right. Okay. It's been forever since I played this. I'm just picking what it lets me. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, that was Domino's. All right, let's try it. Fateful Battle. All right, Fateful. Alright, just kind of shooting around here. A little boss fight here. Alright. Oh, man. Alright, here we go. I try to get in a corner. Oh, I got him. Part of him, anyway. Oh, so you can't go too far up. Or can you? Or was that a bullet that hit me? Alright. Alright, cool. That was Fateful Battle. Freestyle. Stroke. Alright, that this is kind of similar to the... Um, what we played before. So, let's see. Can I go? Yeah, there we go. Basically, it's just a different version of the other swimming panda games. Alright, we'll, we'll go ahead and move on. That was Freestyle Stroke. Frontal Fire. Let's see that. Ooh, okay. Alright. Kind of like a battle zone type of game. Interesting. Mm. 
your buttons, both buttons pre uh, fire, alternate fire towards the uh, left and right. So, I can't move up or down, so it's just left and right. Alright, here we go. Here's a uh, tank here. All right, hey, no bad, not bad. Kind of a little straightforward. Hate that you can't move up and down though. I guess you just kind of get points. Yeah, that's just kind of simple. But that was frontal fire. Let's try fruit boxes. Oh, yeah. Oh, I remember this game. It's kind of, you just gotta... Yeah, I remember this game. You just gotta make boxes, basically. I used to do this as a kid on paper. You draw the little dots and then you make the boxes. Yeah. Me and uh, my cousins would do that, so... Yeah. Okay, yeah. See, watch. Now, I'll, I'll let the computer make a box, but you do that right there, and then they can make a box, and they'll, they'll score points. So, there you go. Yeah, I remember doing this as a kid. Like I said, uh, me and my cousins would draw the little dots, on, and then we'd play the game. That was pretty cool. That was Fruit Boxes. Let's try Galligant. That sounds familiar. Galligant. All right. Oh, yeah. I remember this game. A button shoots. This is like on the Lexi book. It's kind of very simple. S similar. Kind of like a fancy Space Invaders type of game. They're flying all over. Oh. Just got shot. All right, here we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Some scores rocking. All right, all right, all right. That was Galligant. Um, let's see. Let's try Greedy. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Basically a snake game. That's what this game is right here. Different graphics. Alright, that's the snake game. You just get... Your snake gets go longer. Star. Let's try star. Hit start. Or hit start. Alright. Oh, okay. Your B button shoots the uh, shoots a bomb that destroys the stuff on the screen. This kind of reminds me of uh, Defender. Oh yeah, this reminds me of Defender completely. Just the way it scrolls and everything. Very interesting. It even sounds like it. Wow. But it's not Defender. Wink. Very interesting. Wow. Okay. That was Star. Not Defender. Heroes Mice. Let's try that game. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is kind of like a... Uh, oh. Avoid the bombs. While saving your uh, buddies here. Straightforward. 
to move left and right. For whatever reason, the button makes you stop. So, go figure. Alright, that was uh, Heroes Mice. And there's a part two. Popular enough for a part... Oh yeah, part two. Uh, and this is more of a... Uh, Oh. Alright, you hit the button, and you'll kind of hit them. Alright, this is kind of a weird game. Okay. Not only does it scroll, but you have to hit them back up. Alright. Okay, this is definitely a different version of this game. Okay, that was Heroes Mice 2. Homing Chicken! Oh yeah, Homing Chicken. Okay, let's see here. Oh, basically you're just, uh... You gotta make sure they, that there's a pathway for them to go through. Homing chicken. Okay. So, like, if I remove this path, you'll see the one on the very left fall in the water. Yeah. Yeah, okay. That was homing chicken. Alright. Invincible girl. Oh, okay. Hey there. Alright. Let's see here. Played something similar to this. Okay. Can't let those hit you. You shoot them up, but you can't let them hit you. So. Alright, that was Invincible Girl. Interesting. You just gotta let the, the ball ricochet off the top there. Okay, yeah, alright. Dancing around. Alright, that was Invincible Girl. Let's try Irrigate. Um, uh, okay. We're gonna Irrigate. Alright, we're gonna... Yeah, we're gonna... Here we are. Irrigating some water. Uh, planting some flowers, looks like. Um... Making sure they're... Or I think you kind of wait till they... There we go. You gotta wait till they get to the little hole there. And then... There we go. That's how you do it, I think. So pretty much you gotta do that. Alright, there we go. Um, that was Irrigate. So, interesting little kind of puzzle type of game. Alright, let's try it. Jig Chick. Okay. This kind of reminds me of Cubert. All right, this is like Cubert for sure. Now this is a game I wouldn't mind sitting down to a gameplay of. I like it. I like it. All right. All right, next up is Jumping Kid. Oh yeah, that's the mascot right there uh, from the, from the, uh, the title screen. Jumping Kid. Oh, watch out. Watch out for that frog there, buddy. Looks like there's only one button, which is the jump button. Hey. Played something similar to this before. All right. Interesting. All right. Straightforward. Of course, it probably gets a little bit more challenging. Ooh, it gets a lot more challenging, looks like. All right. We, we get that. We get that. That was Jumping Kid. Jumping Wheeled. 
Let's try jumping wield. All right. Oh, this looks interesting. I like this. Neat little sides. Oh, I thought you could jump on that, but uh, neat little side scroller. All right. Not too shabby. Looks like there's only one button to jump, and that's it. All right. All right. Okay, that was interesting. Oh. All right, that was jumping wield. Let's try knocking. And you can't come in. All right, this is like a whack-a-mole. Oh, no. <laughs> don't hit the don't hit the girl. But the direction left, right, up and down, you you whack-a-mole pretty much. All right, nope. All right. Nope. There we go. All right, we get it. That was whack-a-mole. I mean, knocking. Let's try knock it. All right. Same thing, whack-a-mole. Only it's got eight different uh, directions. You're using the diagonals as well. Okay, we get that. Time out. All right, that was Knock It. Let's try Mad Xmas. All right. All right, this is similar, very similar to the game I played on the Lexi book. Can I catch the presents? Um, there's no... Doesn't seem like the buttons make you... Uh, run faster, so you really have to kind of you'll you'll miss some of these. Looks like. Unfortunately, so you won't be able to get all of them. You just gotta avoid the lightning. That's uh, Mad Xmas though. Watch out for that little lightning or razor blade, whatever it is. All right. I think I did all right. All right, cool. I'm on stage two. Can't be too bad. All right, that was Mad Xmas, Man in Red. Instead of Lady in Red, it's Man in Red. Okay. Oh yeah, we're ready. All right. A button shoots, and B button doesn't do anything. So you're you're almost. It almost reminds me of Donkey Kong Three. But it's not, <laughs> you know, with insects and stuff, stuff like that. You're just you're trying to get rid of these insects. But more more like a Space Invaders game, I guess. Okay, we get that. All right, what's next? Number fifty uh, is Merry Christmas. All right, as you can see, the Christmas lights behind me. Merry Christmas. All right, here we go. Let's start that game and see what that's about. All right, I'm Santa right there. This will be a good Christmas uh, episode. Let's see, what am I doing? All right, hitting the buttons, they're not doing anything. over here. Something in there. Okay. It's not letting me. Alright. Let me go back in here. See what happens. give presents. Let's see here. I 
Okay, so I have to go back and get some presents and try to... Alright. We get it. Gotta go back to the house, get, get a sack full of presents, and then bring it back. There we go. Alright, that's, that's, I get that. Merry Xmas, or Merry Christmas. Alright. Right now, I apologize for the long video and sort of the technical delays, the technical difficulties from the uh, capture card and the uh, upscaler. Kind of gets a weird, um, weird signal sometimes. That's why you, you saw that. But hopefully, it went through all right. I, like again, sorry this is a long video, but uh, it's a, a nice beefy one for you guys. You can have it playing in the background if you want to while you're while you're doing whatever. But that was the first 50 games of the. Uh, Dream Gear 301 system um, game station is what it's called. So, whew, we went through 50 of them right there, and uh, hopefully you saw some that you liked. And I will try to do another 50 chunk in part two, and we'll we'll leave off we'll, we'll leave off with um, Merry Christmas, and we'll pick up with Mike Pig. So, um, take care, guys. Again, sorry this video was so long, but we got it. Uh, hopefully, stick around for part two, and appreciate it. Thanks again, and uh, welcome back, and we will have some more gameplay videos. So, uh, take care, and see it in part two. Woo! Uh, that was a beefy video.